Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And throughout the weekend, we have a new version of the Microsoft Edge browser that has arrived. It started rolling out late on Friday and is still rolling out throughout the weekend if you are a Edge user. Well, triple digit Edge is now here. We are at version 100. So of course, Google Chrome arrived at version 100 last week and now following uh, with the same Chromium base is Edge 100. So if you want to see if you have the new browser, you can go on the upper right corner. Three horizontal dots, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And here you will be updated to 100.0.1185.29. So this is the latest version of Edge. It is now crossed over to 100. If there is a problem with the fact that you move to 100 on some websites, there's a flag that can be actually enabled. In the uh, flags, it's uh, a force major version to minor flag that it's called, and that enables uh, the um, 99. It kind of tells websites that it's actually 99, even though it's version 100. In practice, I haven't seen and haven't heard of anybody that has broken websites uh, with Chrome, so I would guess Edge will be pretty much the same for this uh, on the uh, on the uh, websites. So most websites will pre OK probably. But because it has a triple digit number, it's not impossible that some websites have problems. Uh, what's in here and the new stuff? Well, first of all, if you actually go into the File Explorer, and have PDFs, or if you use Microsoft Outlook, one of the first things that's going to happen is that the PDFs will show up as thumbnails um, that will actually have a lightweight preview available. So this comes from Edge, actually. Edge will have and will interact with Outlook and with the File Explorer to show you a um, preview of PDFs uh, with a very lightweight version of Edge-based PDF preview. Uh, improved Microsoft 365 compatibility. There's security improvements in uh, the way that actually memory corruption vulnerabilities can happen. And so what this happen, this does is it enforces stack protection. And this means that even if the browser would have a memory corruption issue, to exploit it and get out of that uh, kind of sandbox mode where you can actually do damage or, you know, create problems is going to be more difficult. It's not zero, but more difficult. So this adds for the uh, possibilities of security. And finally, if you need to have digitally signed PDF files that can be shown uh, showing in Edge, well, uh, there will be a possibility to add PDF secure mode in it. And of course, one of the most important things probably for most people that use Edge is the fact that it has 28 security fixes. That is the same thing as the security fixes that Google Chrome has. So apart from the fact that, you know, maybe you're not interested in much of what's new, well, maybe you are should be interested in the fact that there's 28 security flaws that are fixed in here, including some high severity chromium flaws. So once again, upper right corner, three horizontal dots, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And you should be at 100.0.1185.29. And this is as of today, Sunday, March 3rd, 20, uh, April 3rd, sorry, April 3rd, uh, 2022. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.